Well, the social media space has been updated with a lot of news, counter accusation of Victor Shime, uh, Finidi George, and uh, the NFF, amongst other contributors, especially content creators. They've been able to spend so much time talking about imbroglio between uh, Victor Shime and Finidi George. Firstly, I've listened to what uh, Ida said. Ida was a former Nigerian footballer that's presently in South Africa. Listen to what he said that Vito Simon needs to apologize to Finney the Judge, which I think is not out of place. And I'm listening to what the very dark man said, VDM. VDM said, Oshima doesn't need to apologize to Finney the Judge, except Finney the Judge apologizes first. But the question we fail to understand is, what really started this fracas? What really started this discontentment, or rather this challenge between these uh, great Nigerians? We're made to understand that Finidi gave out an interview and posted something which was reproduced by a blogger. It was later discovered that the blogger blew things out of context by trying to explain what Finidi said. Finidi never really talked about uh, Vito Sime personally, but I was talking about his contribution, the pressure for NFF, and also the situation they found themselves drawing to South Africa and also losing to Benin Republic. He never really talked to Sime directly or disrespectfully uh, that warranted what Usime said. Well, that being said, the question would have been asked what was said by Fini the judge. And if we'd been able to address what was said by Fini the judge, would have looked at it in the context if it is right or wrong. Rather, Victor Simon never really called Finney the Judge to ask, you know what bloggers do? They blow things out of context to garner followers and then to garner likes and whatever, views. That's what they are just interested in. Not in your well-being. They want to see the exchange and the interchange. But Victor Simon went out of his way. He blew things out of context. One, the way he spoke to Finney the Judge was very, very unprofessional of him. Like somebody said, uh, Victor Simon spoke like at his portable. He was trying to draw allusion to the way Victor Simon spoke. Well, Victor and Finidi, they are not on the same level. They will not be on the same level, considering the contribution of Finidi Judge to Nigerian football. His accolades, his uh, titles, what he has won, what he has achieved over the years. But that is not the issue. Finidi Judge is the coach. And even though he has resigned, Victor Simon would have addressed things professionally. The way he spoke to Finney the judge was unwarranted. The way he spoke about the NFF was unwarranted. The way he spoke about his fans, insulting fans, it was unwarranted. Saying that he's not so interested in playing for Nigeria is a slight. If somebody said, whenever Victor Simia plays, he gives his best. Even if he gives his best and spoke against his fatherland like that, then something is actually wrong. Telling us he's not begging to play for Nigeria, Nigeria is not his country or whatever, is very, very unprofessional of him. Because I see players giving all for their country. You know, you don't know what it is to don the green, white, green. The color of your country represents your country on the international stage. You talking like that is very, very unprofessional. Well, it's not out of place for NFF to bring these parties together and sort this out. Though Finney is no longer with... The, the NFF is no longer our coach, but we can bring them back together and do what and sort this out. Finidi, no matter how you look at it, is a legend. You put it in place when we talk about uh, Juan Kwakano, we talk about Daniel Mokachia, Munike, Ojeji Okocha. Those are the kind of likes you put where Finidi George. He has won the Champions League, he has won the European Cup, he has won the title with Ajax, he has won it three times, he has won the Copa de Rey, he has contributed a lot. To football so it's worthy of those accolades is worthy of being celebrated what i will say is this is simple victor simon blew things out of proportion so if he's man enough he should do what apologize to the nigerian public for telling us he's not begging to play for the country is very very wrong and also for saying uh, because nigeria is playing or nigeria lost a match he should not doesn't mean he should not enjoy himself well it is very very unprofessional it shows his place the way he takes the country because if the country is personal to him a lot of people did not eat or see people committing suicide when their country lose much so he shouldn't talk to nigerians like that so my advice is from the judge uh well thank you so much you can try and address 
the issue and talk to uh, Victor Osima professional. Victor Osima, you are a professional. Uh, the way you spoke shows you have this stubborn spirit in the inside of you and it's going to affect your career because coaches will start seeing you as somebody that is not very, very obedient and it's going to affect your career, except you retrace your step and address issues. What well, Nigerians should be practical and objective when we address issues. Don't just jump and cite anybody or any player. Let's be rational about things that we do. It's going to help us. So Victor Simon, it's not wrong for you to apologize. If you need the judge, it's not wrong also for you to apologize. You are the older one. And NFF, you should learn to put your house in order. Well, we're going to stop here for now. Don't forget to like, don't forget to comment, don't forget to share. Thank you.